Jenny Hansen here with you with the latest in NASCAR automotive technology. Did you know that because of the high temperatures and the strain of an 800 horsepower engine, NASCAR teams have to change their oil after every race? This six gallon jug is how much oil a race car consumes in one 500 mile race. By comparison, your street car consumes this much oil in five oil changes. A stock car really needs that volume to accommodate the air release uh, during, the, uh, during the racing of uh, high RPMs and uh, the extreme pressures and temperatures. With a passenger car oil where there's five or six quarts of oil, um, there's a wet sump or an oil pan that holds all the oil and it kind of circulates through the engine and it provides cooling. The reason oil is essential to every car is that it keeps the temperatures down when metal and metal come into contact. Almost every component and part on a Sprint Cup car needs some kind of lubrication. You have to remember one thing is that a lubricant and an engine oil is as much a coolant as it is a lubricant. So the engine oil needs to be able to pull heat away from the engine, be cooled, and then go, be reintroduced back into the engine again to, to enhance the performance. In some cases, uh, there's friction modifiers that actually reduce friction and increase efficiency. In a passenger car oil, efficiency means fuel economy. In a race car, efficiency can mean power, horsepower, sometimes both. The biggest enemy of speed is friction. Aside from engine oils, we make a number of greases, high performance greases, power steering fluids, hydraulic oil, gear oils for both transmissions and rear axles. All of these lubricants work together to provide an entire package to enhance the performance and efficiency of a race car. For more on automotive technology, keep it here on NASCAR.com.